Okay, uh, I'm going to show you on how to calculate the WACC. Uh, I will use, uh, for now I use a uh, past semester question FIN 420 June 2013. So to calculate the WACC, first of all we need to know what WACC is. The WACC is actually the cost of using the capital okay the cost of using the sources of capital for this uh, situation for example uh, if the company needs a uh, capital the amount of capital that the company needs is sixty thousand, sorry 600 million ringgit so based on this company will get the capital amount 360 thousand or sorry 360 million ringgit from bond 60 million ringgit from preferred stock and the balance 180 million ringgit from common stock based on this we can say that um, to get the capital amount of 600 million ringgit 60 percent of the capital is where the company get it from the bond the balance okay i'm talking about this the balance, sorry, the 10% amount of capital, the company will get this from preferred stock. The common stock, the balance 30% is where the company will get the capital from the common stock. So make it total is 100%. Okay, make the total amount of capital here 100%. So how do we get the weight? How do we get the weight? Weight is the value divided by total value. For example, okay, for example, weight for bond. For example, weight for bond equals to RM 360 million divided by RM. 600 million so you will get 0 0.6 equivalent to 60 percent that's just the example all right how do we get we calculate the WACC WACC so the formula of WACC is The weight for bond WD or WB, you can use this times cost of the after tax. Okay, cost of the after tax. Cost of the after tax. plus wait for preferred stocks time cost of preferred stock plus wait for common stock times cost of common stock okay so wait for uh, bond what for or debt times cost of debt after tax. So this one, so this is cost of debt after tax. Debt or bond eh? after tax. How do we get this? KD equals to KD times 1 minus tax rate. Okay. So wait for bond. Oops, sorry. Wait for bond. 0 0.6 times. Wait 
9.043 percent plus 0.1 times 10.32 percent plus 0 0.3 times 18.36%. So you will get this amount 0 0.05426 plus 0 0.01032 plus 0 0.05507. Hence, we sum up all the working for each of the calculation. So we will get 0 0.1197 equivalent to 11.97 percent. Here we go. Cancer is 11.97 percent.